a first for the state, a bright young poet. Here she is from Chevy Chase is making waves with words. As DC News Now reporter Christian Pena shows us, she hopes her writing takes her to the national level. Tara Prakash is an avid lover of words who tells me she was completely shocked after learning she was the first ever Maryland Youth Poet Laureate. And with a new platform, she tells me she wants to script new bridges for underserved communities. How do you save a house on flames? And Turning emotions into verses that resonate well with diverse voices is a lifelong mission for Maryland's first ever Youth Poet Laureate. Poetry is just like a really powerful tool. I feel like it can do a lot of things that other forms of communication can't and kind of like bringing together people who are divided and kind of transcending those differences. With her title, Tara says her ultimate goal is to touch on themes of unity, resilience, and hope. She began her tenure in June and is now considering an even bigger stage, competing for the National Youth Poet Laureate title. I really just want to like inspire other people to use their voice. Like a big part of my role is performing, but I feel like the greatest satisfaction is like talking to people afterwards, especially young kids, and explaining to them why I love poetry. She credits much of her success to her grandmother, who she says inspires her to invoke feelings through words. She uh, and I have always kind of shared a love of language. She's always kind of gotten my love of words. But where exactly do the stories of her poems stem from? I've kept like these three notebooks and they're called like things that have happened to me, funny and fascinating and quotes. And so in there I kind of just wrote down like things around me that then became like the fodder for my work. The award-winning poet has performed at the Kennedy Center and is the founder of the Right to Write, a nonprofit teaching creative writing to underserved communities. What I love most is the community and just how everyone comes together. If Tara does enter the race for National Youth Poet Laureate, she would first have to go through regional this fall. She would then compete at the national level next year in May. For now, reporting in studio, I'm Christian Pena, DC News Now.